I was doing the whole time while she was doing this was I was watching to see if he was coming outside so I could be like and do some like Ooh. yo what's good y'all how you been my name is dollar sign I am back and today I have a story to tell y'all I haven't told y'all a story in so long it's been a minute man um you guys have been asking for it you guys haven't been asking for this story specifically this is one I've kept in the vault right this is actually my first time smoking. So let's get into this, man. I hope you guys have a fantastic one. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. And we are not smoking in this. So if you guys can smoke for me, that would be amazing. Please and thank you because I'm not smoking. Anyways, let's get into it. So this starts off about when I was like 13, man. It was a young age. I was smoking at a young age. Well, I didn't consistently start smoking at a young age but when i tried it i was very very young i would say about 13 it was um an interesting uh time so i was at my grandparents at the time and next to my grandparents is my basically cousin's house we don't really know them like we basically count each other as cousins so um i went over there as a wee young lad and never um tried anything in my life weed was the first thing i tried i didn't even tried alcohol before i tried weed weed was the first thing i ever tried um yeah so i went over there went downstairs and i was talking with them my friend or my cousin leela at the time had uh, her friends over there was um hickson and then i think jennifer if i don't remember her actual name so we're just gonna give her a random name hickson you <laughs> this man spread rumors about me bro Ooh, i don't like people that hate on me man anyways um but yeah so they were chilling in there and i was just talking and they were like telling me the plans and i was like oh really and at this time when i was a young kid i was um very rotten as a child like i was i knew about everything by the time i was age 10 like sex everything intercourse uh weed drugs all of that i knew about all of that i had a rough childhood um i knew about all that by the age of 10 so this wasn't really new to me and i was like oh all right then i'm down they they were like we're gonna go um smoke up by the fireplace but we have to have a watch because my dad could come up at any time and we'll have to be careful when we're rolling it and i didn't know what rolling was i was like rolling it like like play-doh like rolling it like play -Doh. i didn't know what the fuck rolling was so we went outside up the stairs creeping went up to the fire we said we were gonna go i think we we're gonna go cook s'mores or something <laughs> and um no we went upstairs and man i went outside and i was like damn this is this is interesting i can't believe this is actually happening at the age of 13 what the fuck crazy numbers um I, I i didn't know man i didn't take much hits, but um anyways we get up to the top of the fireplace how this is laid out is like there's a trampoline on the left and then like play place over here and then a fireplace up above some steps right so i walked up the steps went up there sat in a chair and just chilled now what the rest of them did except for hickson hickson sat down he was like i don't really want to do this i'm in baseball he was a sober kid at the time. He was older than me. Everyone here was older than me, right? I didn't really give a fuck. Um, and I was kind of just chilling there. And Leela went over to the, like, bench. This, like, rocking bench. It was really weird. And um, she started trying to roll. Hold on. I'll be right back. I have, I have notes I gotta go look at. Alright. I'm back. So since Leela had began rolling... It was a kind of windy night. Like, keep in mind, the winds were blowing, so it's really hard to roll in that time and, like, spark up. It was also, I think... No, this was summer, so this was fine weather. Um. So she was just trying to keep it steady because the reason why she was rolling up on this, like, hard bench to roll on was because there was a picnic at the um, fireplace, but we did not want to do that there because then her dad could see how what I was doing the whole time while she was doing this was I was watching to see if he was coming outside so I could be like and do some like Ooh, type call you know like I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do. like I was I was look out I was watch so anyways 
as she was warming up, it was a struggle. This came out to be a not so good blend. But keep in mind, they were like freshmen. I was like a seventh grader or eighth grader at the time. I don't remember for sure. Isn't that 13, 14? Or a 16? I don't remember. Um, but no, bro. It was fucking whack. Like, I don't know, man. So we sparked this bitch up, this little stick, this twig, whatever the fuck this thing was. It was kind of packed, I'm not going to lie. And she sparked it up because the person who rolls sparks, you already know that rule. Puff, puff, pass. She passed it to her friend Jennifer. Hickson didn't want to hit it. They were teasing him. I, I don't remember if I was. I was probably teasing him. I was a little shit as a kid. Um, and then I hit it and, bro, I, got, I, I, I felt like a feeling, but I felt kind of sick, but I didn't, like, hate it at the same time, right? And then it got passed around one more time. And the, the second time, bro, I got high. And then I hear my grandma yell, Alex, it's time to come home. And I'm like, oh, what if she saw me? So I'm like, oh, shit, I got to be careful. And and um, Leela puts her out, puts it out. And then I, I run over and I'm like, oh, shit, okay. We were outside, so obviously I didn't smell of weed. But I didn't know. I was scared. So I went inside and I was kind of fine. I talked to my grandma and I went pretty much straight a bed after brushing my teeth of course i brushed my teeth my grandma would literally castracize me if i didn't brush my teeth man oh um, bro i'm not gonna lie that time was very interesting um it was a definitely an changing point in my life honestly I didn't see no wrong with it. Um, I think that's why I'm doing what I am doing today. Um, and I want to say I, thank you is kind of interesting to say for what I do. But thank you to, to that night, you know. Kind of changing my life right now, man. Um, and I also want to say thank you to you guys. You guys are fucking fantastic. We are growing by 100 by the day, bro. It is. This is fucking fantastic. Thank you guys for everything that you guys are doing for me, bro. This, like, you don't know how this makes me feel, man. Remember, bro, I want you guys to grind every single day and strive for greatness. Dollar Moolah. You know what that means, man? Dollar Moolah. I don't know if you can see that, but... Man, live by that. That is the goal, I swear, bro. Thank you guys for, I think... 1700 i don't remember the exact number bro i haven't looked in a while hold on we'll check right now focus in 1770 17 oh my god you guys are fucking fantastic thank you guys for that that is Anyways, y'all, I'm going to get going, bro. I hope you guys have a fantastic one. I hope you guys enjoyed my story. I hope you guys learned something. I hope it changed you in some way. I don't know, man. And um, Or I hope it's wasted some of your time when you had to do some boring-ass task. I hope you guys have a fantastic one. I love y'all. Keep grinding and striving for greatness every single day. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, make sure to go down the socials below and... Follow those if you guys fuck with me or want to fuck with me more from YouTube. I do a lot of other stuff. I'm on like a hell of different socials. I'm pretty much everywhere except for Instagram, really. I, I'm on Instagram, but I don't really post on Instagram often, you know? Um, yeah, I hope you guys have a fantastic one. I love you. Peace.